Oi, pessoal, tudo bem? Hoje eu estou aqui com um canadense, ele que luta no MMA. Vocês acreditam? Gente, ele promete assim ser um super sucesso. A gente vai contar um pouquinho da história dele para vocês. How are you today, Elias? I'm fantastic. How are you? I'm good. So I'm very excited to tell our people about your story. So let's start. How you start your career? Yeah, I started mixed martial arts a little later than most uh, after my first year of university. I was enlightened in the mind and thought the body should follow. And soon I realized they were intertwined in, in what I would like to call human chest. And that's what mixed martial arts is. And from there, I've been able to uh, put up a about 16 fights. Took me a second to th <laughs> think about it. And I'm getting ready for my next one coming up. And uh, I hear about it that you was in Brazil before. Yeah. How was that? Yeah. Um, one of my original coaches uh, was from Brazil. And I got to train out in uh, Rio, in Baja specifically, at, uh, with the Nogueros, the legendary Nogueira brothers. Um, it's a true honor uh, to train with such, you know, pioneers in the sport. And uh, being humbled the whole way. I'm curious about uh, your nickname, the Spartan guys. The, the, his nickname is the Spartan, so could you tell them about it? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I'm Greek, and uh, when I first started mixed martial arts, my other coach, uh, my other original coach was also Greek, and because I started later, uh, again, most people, they do jiu-jitsu when they're, you know, they're 10, karate when they're eight, uh, you know, high school, they do wrestling. I started at my first, univers year, uh, first year of university. So um, I didn't know that much, but I had, a, I had no quit in me, and that's what my coach saw. So he said I had a very Spartan um, work ethic and, you know, no surrender. <laughs> nice. And uh, uh, how often are you training usually? Um, well, it's my full-time job. I, I train twice a day, uh, roughly an hour to two each session, so four hours each day, and uh, then there's rest and recovery and uh, nutrition. But along with uh, having, uh, you know, the, the proper food, nutrition, recovery, It also takes some great hair. And how usually you treat like uh, your nutrition, your groom hair, your stuff? Is like, do you have some tips to give to the people? Yeah, well, obviously, um, I think there are three staples in any great fighter's diet. It's going to be uh, the right nutrition, like you said, the right recovery, and obviously the right hair. <laughs> and uh, I think I got all three of those. Um, specifically, uh, obviously, being a brand ambassador for PERT, So Pert is known for being the original two-in-one and still the best. But in addition to that, they've also added a whole bunch of different formulas. And it fits so perfectly in regards to my regime because I do train twice a day and I also have um, 11 sessions in total a week. So I need to get in and out of the shower quickly. And what Pert does is allows me to be two-in-one done real quick. And one of my favorite that I'm going to share with you is Pert Volumizing. And my thought process behind this, if less is more, think much more is. Look at his hair, guys. Oh my God, amazing. <laughs> you have an event, right, that comes up. So let's invite the people to go in this event. Where will you be? Yeah, I'm going to be at uh, Union Station uh, on October 17th and 18th. And you can find me under the Union, I believe, station sign. And I'll be doing uh, basically a meet and greet, um, some open workouts. And we're going to be giving out a lot of uh, PERT samples. So more than welcome. And uh, look to see me doing some punching and kicking soon at Union Station, October 17th and 18th. And how is going to be your next fight and the where will be? Yeah, yeah. Um, my next fight is going to be November 18th in Australia. I'll be fighting uh, a Australian named Dan Kelly. He and I were both on a TV show together called The Ultimate Fighter, which I won. I'm the first Canadian to do so, and I'm looking forward to showing why I won. So the people now, they, they have a dream, right, to be a fighter like you. So what do, you, what do they they can have it like what they can do to have like the spot like you did well i, I would say that the more larger question uh, or the more larger comment would be no matter what it is that you want to accomplish showing up is the first step um and uh that really shows parallels in regards to me specifically with mixed martial arts as i started later whereas you know some of the people i'm competing with have been doing jujitsu since they were eight wrestling since they were in high school um but at the same time although there's a lot of catching up to do um i am an open canvas and i'm able to learn and grow sounds good so let's stay tuned and see him on the fighter <laughs>